All right, prop heads, uh, I got my uh, remote ID module. Here it is. Um, some of you guys wanted to see it when I got it and uh, what I'm gonna do with it. Um, it's gonna end up going on my quad Rinsler. So this is remote ID minimal compliance. I'm gonna show you how to do the least minimum requirement to stay FAA compliant with this module. And I'm gonna put it on this battery strap. So I'll give you a little update and uh, we'll keep on going with this little Drone beacon. I got it from Microflight. Um, Alien drones. Use his uh, coupon code. I'm gonna put a link in the description of this video. Um, that I used his coupon code to get this. So thank you very much, Alien drones. Shout out to you. Um, we're gonna go forward with uh, Rensler and my 6S, and then I'll show you how to be minimally compliant with the FAA for remote ID. And uh, we'll get right to it. The old man's gonna knock on the sky. Listen to the sound. All right, guys, here it is. Um, boxes for you. Um, it comes with a GPS dot and all the stuff you need. So this here is the power cable it comes with. This is what I'm gonna put on Rinsler here. Um, I actually have a five volt right here. I can put it on, so that's what I'm gonna end up doing. This is the GPS. This is the antenna. And it's gonna end up probably something like this. Something like that. I'm gonna probably wrap this up in tape, not aluminum foil tape, just regular tape. And then this plugs in here. So this is going to be what it's gonna be. And then you take this wonderful number on the back, you put it on your registered drone. Um, on the manual, it's got the little UIC code, barcode for you. And it really isn't that much larger than a regular flight stack. I got a hockey wing runner here. So you can see it's about the same. And you can see the bolt patterns for it, so easily mountable. So Give me a few minutes and then I'll, I'll put this on there and I'll give you an update video and show you what it looks like. All right guys, as you can see, I attached the power lead. This is how it's gonna go on. I did use a five volt. I did have a 12 volt available. It goes up to 15 max is what it suggests. And when you plug it in, this is what it's gonna look like. So, how to be minimally compliant. This will be the first thing off and the last thing on. So you will never see this module unless it's physically on the drone flying. So, all I have to do is take this off, put my drone, take all the camera, but this is always gonna be the first thing off and the last thing on. You're never gonna see this thing. All right, here it is in all its compliant glory. Um, looks horrible, but it works. This is minimally compliant. That's all I gotta be, it's minimally compliant. So, am I gonna fly with this every time I fly this quad? Yes, of course, FAA, I'm gonna fly with this every single time, no problem. We're gonna be compliant, yeah, every time. Um, are my other quads gonna get one of these uh, Part 107 RID modules that are registered? No. They are not. Um, I have my DJI Air 2. Um, the burden of proof now falls on the FAA to prove I am no longer compliant when I fly my drones. So good luck on them. Um, I bought the module. I have two compliant drones for my business. That's all I am required to do. And uh, if they're gonna come after me, then they can come after me. I'm just a small single person in the basement trying to do the right thing. So I bought one module. Um, it's gonna be in my bag. It's gonna be on, on me at all times for when I'm flying, but I'm not going to be every single time. No. 
I will make a stand. Um, I have it. If you see it, good job for you. But most everybody else is not. Um, if you enjoy something like this, you, you like taking your grandma to the prom. If you enjoy it, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> so, so this is all I gotta do. This is this is all the FAA is telling me I have to do to be compliant. Have a module connected to your FPV drone. So now I am compliant. FAA, come get me. You have to prove, without a shadow of a doubt, that what I am doing is illegal and not compliant. So I welcome the challenge. It's on you guys, not me. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Um, September 16th is gonna come and go, and I am not gonna be your problem. Your problem's gonna be the DJI Mini 3s and the Mavic 3s that people are flying for fun that don't have part 107s. So I am not your problem. So I am ready for September 16th. Um, none of my other drones are gonna get this. This is $130. Like I said, uh, Alien Drones, use his contact, link in the description below. Um, Ta-da, that's all you gotta do. Minimally compliant. The most American of all things that we can do is be minimally compliant. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, GPS dot, antenna, power source, this is it. This is all you need, so. This is the uh, company and this is the product. I am not endorsed or in any way, shape or form, but I am compliant using this. So this is what I'm gonna use and this is what I'm gonna suggest. But thank you for watching. Um, this has been a long, boring series of remote ID. Um, thank you for tuning in and uh, I have a whole lot more better videos coming in the future. I am getting much better at editing, so we will see what's gonna happen. But thanks for tuning in and uh, FCC, we'll see you in the skies. Everybody else, uh, hope the weather's good and uh, enjoy your time and I'll check you guys out later. All right. Just let us deflower you. You're gonna suck my tiny ginger balls.